In the day one video, we learned about two things called tangents and secants. And I mentioned that we will be learning more about them later. And that is now. What is a tangent? The basic idea about tangent is it's a line that touches the circle at exactly one point. Oh, I should touch here. So it's, it's a line that touches the circle at exactly one point. And there are some properties associated with it. It says a line perpendicular to a radius at its extremity is tangent to the circle. That's another way of saying that if I take the center and I drop a line to the one point where a tangent touches the circle, then that is always 90 degrees. This is always 90 degrees. For example, if you're given this problem and you're asked to find AO, then you know that this is a tangent, If the, then this is right angle. So this is 7.35. So we have a right triangle here um, and we also know these values so it's very easy to find AO because AO squared is OC squared plus AC squared um, which again when you plug into the calculator right, you would have 7.35 squared plus 9.25 squared and then you take the square root of the answer which is 1.036 I don't know that doesn't look correct let's do that again um, 7.35 squared plus 9.25 squared then the square root of the answer is 11.81 that's more like it 11.81 meters Now that was about one tangent, but you could have multiple tangents going from a point to a circle. If there are two tangents from a point outside the circle, then they are equal and they make equal angles. So it's very nice. AP becomes equal to BP in this case and angle one equals angle two. Now there's one more result about circle which comes in handy is um, just like we had two tangents, if we have two chords, and they intersect, then the product of the segment correspondingly become equal. So if you take AE multiplied by BE, it's going to be the same as CE multiplied by ED. Let's look at some example. Find angle 2, which is right here. And then angle 3, when angle 1 is given to be 125 degrees. That's angle 1 there. That's angle 2. Okay, so um, this is a tangent, so this is 90 degrees. Now this is 58. This is opposite, so angle 3 is 58 degrees, opposite. All of this is 125 degrees, but these angles are going to be equal. So half of that is going to be 62.5 degrees, which means angle 2 then is 180 minus 90 minus 62.5 degrees. Now why are these angles equal is remember h is a common point from which you've drawn two tangent which means this angle x equals this angle x this is 90 that makes this angle 90 minus x now b is where two tangents are being drawn so these two angles are equal right so that gives you that this is angle 2 so, oh, okay. So there's another way to solve for angle two, I think, which is correct. And better way is you take this as angle two, and then this is 90 degrees, 
and so you can find angle 2. It's going to be different value. So 180 minus 90 degrees minus 58 degrees. So yes, scratch what I said before, these two angles are not going to be equal. So that's not correct. The correct way to look at this is common tangent, two tangents here. So these angles are equal, which means if this is two, this is angle two. Now this is 58, so this is 90, and I can find angle two as 180 minus 90 minus 58. Let's look at the next one. So you're given a triangle and there's a circle inside the triangle. And you're given radius is 20 centimeters. You have to find OA, OB, and OC. So first of all, these are tangents. So from here, I can draw a perpendicular. That's going to be the radius. Right? OG is just the radius, which is 20 centimeters. Once we know that this is right angle, um, we know AO squared is going to be OG squared plus AG squared, both of which values we know. OG is the radius, so that's 20, 20 squared plus AG is 68 squared, and then you can take the square root of that to get AO is 70.88 now comes the tricky part um, remember these are common tangent which means these angles are equal and these angles are equal now the question is how from here are you going to find the lengths OB and OC okay so I'm going to leave OB and OC part to you as a bonus problem. That's it for this video for day